What's up guys? Welcome to the Break Room Blitz Toy Box Unboxing. This is Adan and uh, I got the Captain America 3 Civil War Captain America. Um, and I actually pre-ordered this one just because I know that for some of these figures they actually become really rare and then um, I really don't want to spend more than like five ten bucks more on getting one of these uh, figures I know that you know the, the rare the more rare ones you know like Hawkeye and Loki and such um, even Falcon they, they get kind of pricey and I'm just not willing to put that much money in something that I see of a retail price of $24.99 um, yeah and I, I actually ended up pre-ordering this one um, for $19.99 off of uh, things from another world uh, dot com that's a uh, TFAW Dot com, um, but uh, I mean you could get some pretty good deals out there. Um, so let's go right into this. Um, I mean, uh, right off the bat, we see you know something that I noticed in the packaging here was that uh, you know he has scales, and on his actual suit he never had these scales. So I'm like, where did they get this from? That's actually really cool. Take a look there. So he has like those old school scales. Uh, I really don't understand where they got that from here on the front and we obviously see that it's just the regular fabric so and even on the packaging it's just normal you know I thought that was pretty cool um here's a little uh, background of him if you want to take a look into that and uh, let's just get right into it so um, I don't plan on actually, you know, ever reselling this, like, unless, like, it actually does turn out to be something pretty rare, um, and then I can get, like, at least, like, double for it, but overall, I end up, like, really holding on to my figures, uh, not really doing it for a profit, more of, you know, just to have for myself, uh, I'm an amateur collector, really, I don't have that m many, uh, collectibles, action figures, but I, I really am into these six-inch ones, um, cause you could pose them and stuff and, uh, change it up. I'm like a statue, uh, where statues are pretty pricey and, uh, can't really move around with them. So I like that option. Not that I plan on regularly doing it. Anyway, uh, so we got the base. Comes with this cool base. Um, don't really know what the idea behind this was, um, as far as the base. Uh, typically they have some type of scenery, um, but maybe they did it just as, a uh, to represent like the Avengers or whatnot, and then what came behind that in the other packaging was these more little uh, tidbits uh, to connect the different bases: uh, the Winter Soldier one, this Captain America one, and Iron Man. And then we have like uh, this pamphlet shows you other characters. These are all pretty, pretty much the older characters or figures, and yeah, and then some Lego type ones, the Mini Mates. There you have it. Alright. So we'll set that off over there. And uh, these uh, interconnecting pieces for the different bases, you see that they plug in, just snap right in there. So we'll leave that over there. And let's take a look at the actual figure itself. So right away we see that it comes with this uh, really nice A logo. I actually love that. That's pretty dope and then his shield. Um, so let's just uh, undo some of these. We'll, uh, start with the actual figure itself. And he comes out pretty easy. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's take a look at him real quick. So we got this figure here. And let's take a look at his eyes. I know that the eyes sometimes can be a little weird or off. Uh, no, I mean, it's pretty decent. They're actually very blue. There's a little spot of white. They they should include a little bit more black on the eye, uh, just to kind of, like, highlight, you know, the pupil or something, because it doesn't really come out very well, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, everything else is pretty nice. Um, got a little scuff right there. Um, so I mean he was scuffed up, um, kind of put like a black wash in it just to like wear it down. 
Um, so I like that. He's like battle action, battle torn. And uh, got the Captain America A there. Another one right over there. This one's a little smudged. Um, his harness. His belt actually moves. I don't know if you saw that right now, but yeah, it's interesting. I wonder. Well, he does have a waist pivot. So that kind of moves slightly. I guess you would have to yeah, move the belt out of the way to actually turn him. So I have that. Alright, that's pretty cool. And we got his hands. His hands uh, got a little bit of the color and we got like some... I don't know about his actual glove, but we got like red on it and brown. Uh, kind of looks a little messy really. It's just me being nitpicky, but yeah, and then his fingers are a little messy too, but overall it's pretty cool. Uh, I like the uh, design that they chose for this one. It's uh, pretty much like the movie. And let's take a look at his other figures here. We'll set them off over here in the corner. So like I said, it comes with this really cool A, and that, that goes right on to the base. I'm gonna snap this one off for a shield while I'm at it. All right, so let's take a look at these two pieces here. So we have this A. It kind of has like a metallic finish on it. It's black. This looks really nice though. I can see, you know, if you're probably trying to get a really good mold to make like something for like cosplay, or you know, maybe trace it onto something. This is actually a really good, as far as like a stencils goes, um, that would be awesome. So I mean, I think that this kind of just, yeah, we have two pieces, one right there and one at the top, and uh, here we'll set them down. I believe this one just like snaps into the back of it, like right over there, yeah, right there, and then I guess the other piece would connect to the other base, so that's how that looks, really nice. And then we got his shield. And his shield, man, they just did a fantastic job on this shield. The, the red is so metallic and shiny, kind of matches Iron Man's red um, from his figure, his Civil War Marvel Select figure. Um, the silver metallic, blue metallic, it, it has like very little, I don't know if that was like some lint they got into it on the paint, but I mean, overall, this shield is amazing. And then they... they took the time and put some detail onto this back of this and make it, made it look leather just like the movie. Um, I don't believe these pieces actually move. No, it doesn't look like they move, but uh, that would allow him to just slip that right in there. So, I believe if we get it. I'm trying to do this so that I don't mess anything up. But I would imagine that it goes all the way up to his forearm. You know what? I started doing that and I noticed that right in there, right in there where this piece is connected, started pulling away. Yeah, you know what? Be really careful guys if you're gonna be doing that. Um, I feel like that's pretty good anyway right there. Um, I, I don't see that it's gonna go anywhere. Look, I'm shaking it and it's not it's not really going, in. okay, there, it, it's a little loose but his hand still has a grip on it and it didn't really mess it up. I mean, I feel like I could pose this in whatever way and it, it really wouldn't like move anyway, so that's pretty cool. Guys, just be really careful about that piece, otherwise you're gonna break it. Alright, so very cool here. We'll just uh, kinda pose them up a little bit. Alright, cool. Now go wait in the corner. All right, and then we got some other hands that he came with. So, looks like we got some like open palm hands and some closed fisted hands. So here are his fists. His fists are actually flawless. Like the gloves, they they look like brown and gritty and his fingers are just on point. And then he has these other 
open palm hands, kind of like in a salute fashion, or kind of giving like commands like, you go over there, you go over there. <laughs> um, all right, high five, Psh, air high five. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's kind of size them up right here. I got a, got a ruler. Um, and the thing I like about these Marvel Select figures is that they're typically a little bit, they're, they're six inches, but um, they're typically a little bit uh, taller than that. This guy is like almost seven inches. No joke. Wow, so he's closer to seven inches right there. It's probably right on the dot. That is ridiculous. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually really happy about that. And then this is like a size comparison to a pop. You know, like these pop figures are very, like about three inches or so. So, And there you have it. That's pretty much all the bases uh, connected together. And, you know, they, this looks really nice. And, I mean, you could really put uh, Winter Soldiers on either side. This is really the centerpiece is Captain America and Iron Man. Um, but uh, this overall looks pretty awesome. I'm really happy with this. Um, out of the three of them, I gotta say, I gotta give it to Iron Man. They really put like really good paint work in it. Um, had some issues with uh, the Winter Soldier and his hands holding that machine gun. And then Captain America with his hands and holding the shield. Um, that, that was a little finicky, but uh, once you got it in place, it's okay. And so long as his arm is curved. But Iron Man is just pretty much winning the war, basically, on this one. Um, really enjoyed this. All right, well, that's going to do it for me. This is Adan with uh, Break Room Blitz Toy Box Unboxing. Check out our other videos. Thanks.